So I'm going to the temple with my friends. And as we get to the outer courtyard, I hear a commotion. And I see a guy with a whip of cords, and he's knocking over tables, and he's emptying out coin bags. He's yelling all this stuff, and at first I don't understand what he's saying, but as I get closer, I hear the words, House of Prayer. And you have turned it into a den of thieves! And no one is stopping to listen. So I want to talk to Bullwhip Guy. The Bullwhip Guy, I don't think it's working. All the yelling, the condemnation, the judgment, I don't think it's working. I actually think it's making things worse. I don't think this is what God had in mind. I mean, no one gets it. You're scaring people. You're judging people. You're quoting Bible verses. I mean, for anyone to think of the Bible as the owner's manual, that's just plain creepy. It's not like the Bible has absolute truth and that it shows that we've missed the mark in some way, or even that it trains us in how to live a godly life. So Bullwhip Guy, I'm asking you in love to please put the Bullwhip down. I'm tired of it. We're all tired of it. I think God is tired of it. And to be honest, it's confusing to me because you and I end up getting painted with the same brush. Get the Get the Remember what God told that man called Moses on the mountain? He said that he was really crazy about us and that he's a real kind God and he never gets angry. He's not into judging or punishing us. He's not into putting us on some kind of a guilt trip. That's not what God's all about. He knows that we possess untold power and strength. But here you are, judging people based on your own perceptions. To be honest with you, I'm embarrassed to be associated with you or your teachings. I just don't think you know who God is and what He is about. God's love for us is this unbelievable, amazing kind of love that isn't based on reason or objectivity. God's love makes us feel good about ourselves. If we don't feel good about ourselves, it's not from God. So instead of telling people this nonsense about God is angry with wickedness, you need to let people know that God loves them just the way they are, that their thoughts and feelings are valid no matter what. It's not like there's some objective standard that we can use to judge our lives by. Bullwhip guy, God is not pleased with what you're doing. You just don't know how to demonstrate God's love. You can't love people with an agenda. If I'm loving someone with an agenda, then it really isn't love, is it? My agenda is to come to you in love to let you know that. But maybe you're a follower of God and you're listening and you're nodding, you're agreeing with me and you're saying, yeah, you tell them. It's about time someone said that. But what are you doing to change the perception? Because that's what it is. It's a perception among many followers of God that, that He has standards to live by, that He's just, and He's going to judge the world. How did the best message ever, this beautiful life of love and hope and peace, ever get turned into something else? How did so few end up speaking for so many? You see, Bullwhip Guy, there's so much good that you can do, that we can do, that we can do together. What it really boils down to is that how we love others is how we love God. That's it. I mean, love wins. That's the way of love.
That's the way of God. And bullwhip guy, if you're not careful, they're going to crucify you.